Well, CN Rail's plan for taking over Kansas City Southern has been blocked by U.S. regulators. It's a welcome decision by rival suitor CP Rail. Host of Real Ag Radio, Sean Haney, joins us now with the latest. Sean, so good to have you with us. What was the reason for the STB decision? Hey, Tim, great to be with you here this morning. So th this drama that's been playing out on both CP and CN Rail, both, both Canadian railways, uh, are are trying to acquire KCS um, the and, and it, it is playing a, in a very very interesting manner. So on Tuesday, the U.S. Surface Transportation Board unanimously rejected the application by CN and K KCS to have a joint voting trust control KCS's assets while the deal is being finalized. So this is going to force CN to rework its thirty three billion dollar acquisition of KCS. The uncertainty created by the decision comes just days ahead of a critical vote that the KCS shareholders are going to make. My understanding is that vote has now been delayed, which is originally scheduled for Friday. So in the ruling, the STB found that CN and KCS have not demonstrated their use of a voting trust would be consistent with the public interest. Applicants have shown no benefit from the use of a voting trust to stakeholders other than KCS and CN. So this puts a pause on the CN bid. So what are CN Rail's options now if it wants to still pursue KCS? Yeah, so basically I think simply it's either give up and withdraw um, or rework the bid. Um, but, you know, interesting comments in a story in the Wall Street Journal this morning where the chairman of the Surface Transportation Board, uh, he stated uh, what does it say? Uh, they want to ensure competition and not just maximizing profits for railroads. So, you know, that, 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 that probably, if you were to kind of read between the lines there, that might uh, put advantage to CP Rail, where there is less competitive overlap in, in the, when you compare the two bids. Well, that you, you just touched on that, but what does this mean for the CP Rail bid for KCS? Um, so, yeah, they put a deadline on KCS to swing back uh, their way. I, I, that's in the latter half of September. Keith Creel put out a press release yesterday about that. In this decision, the STB noted that the CN and CP offers are substantially different. Uh, while CN's offer is still the high bid, CP is trying to convince KCS shareholders that a combination with CP faces way less regulatory uncertainty as the STB, STB approved CP's use of a voting trust back in May. So the CP offer would also be exempt from rail merger rules adopted in 2001 since the CP and KCS networks do not overlap. So I think the smart money would say advantage CP rail, at least as of this morning. A lot of moving parts to this story. So thank you for keeping us updated. That's host of Real Ag Radio, Sean Haney. Appreciate you joining us. And don't forget, you can catch Sean on his show, Real Ag Radio, which airs at 4.30 p.m. Eastern weekdays on Rural Radio, Channel 147 on Sirius XM. And we'll visit with him tomorrow on Market Day Report.